In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record your webcam with JavaScript. So with this I'll be creating, you can select your video device. I can select my camera, can select an audio. I'm just using the, mic the MacBook microphone. Start camera. The camera is showing. I have my camera showing from here, which is the one I connected. Then I can start recording and it's going to record the things that I'm saying. Hello, hello. Hello. And then when I stop recording, I have a URL. And when I go to that URL, I can see the preview. And it's going to record the things that I'm saying. Hello, hello, hello. There are a couple of JavaScript concepts that we're going to learn as we build this. So let's get started. So this is the code we'll be starting with. I have a div with a class of container. Then I have this devices section here where I have this select for video device and this select for audio device. I have this button to start the camera. This div with a class of webcam and in it I have the video element. This is how I'm going to display what the webcam is saying. I have this button to start recording, this to end recording, and this is where I'm going to have a link for a preview. This is the CSS here, although I won't be focusing much on the CSS in this video. I'm going to show you what this particular line is doing in the CSS. I think that's the most important here. And for the UI, this is what it looks like. So here the user can select their video device or their audio device. Then they start camera, the preview shows here, they can start recording and they can stop recording. Then here in my JavaScript, I have done a few queries here. So I get the video devices select, the audio devices select, camera button, and the rest of them. So to begin, the first thing I'll have is an init function. I'm going to make this asynchronous. Now when you're working with webcam and audio, you need to grant user permission for that to work. So first I'm going to check if the user has granted permission for the camera or for the microphone. So you have camera permission await navigator.permissions.query and I'm going to query name camera. And then here I'll have microphone permission and here I'm going to have name of microphone. Now if I come back to the UI, currently I've allowed this, but let me put it on ask default so that we see how that works. So if I do console log camera permission and microphone permission. Then here I can call the init function. Now you see what that looks like in the console. For the camera permission here we have name video capture and the state is currently on prompt. If the user has granted permission, the state will be granted or if the user denies the permission to be denied. And the audio is also with a state of prompt. So now I can check if camera permission dot state is equal to prompt or microphone permission dot states is equal to prompts then here i'm going to trigger the permission prompts and to do that this is where i use navigator dot media devices so here i'm just going to do await navigator dot media devices dot get user media then i pass my constraints in my constraints here i want media for video and media for audio so this line here would ask for permission if the user hasn't granted permission already. Now the user has been asked for permission. Allow this to access your camera microphone. Allow, when I click on allow, if I come to settings here now, camera and microphone and now allow. And if I should refresh it again, it's not going to ask for permission again because I have already granted that permission. Now the next thing I'm going to have is a function called get devices. So I can get the video and the audio devices. To get the media devices, this is going to be await navigator.mediadevices.enumerate devices. Now if I should do console log media devices, so you see what that looks like. So in this init function after the permission section, I'm now going to call await get devices. So now if I come back here and I refresh, you can see the devices I have currently. I have a few of them. So I have this default. This is an audio input. It's for my microphone on the on my MacBook. I have this one from my camera, which is this camera here that I connected. I would show you the view of this camera later. So all of these are audio inputs. But when you go down, you also have video inputs. This is FaceTime camera. This is the one from my ZV-10, this camera over here. So now I can come here to loop through all the media devices. So for const device of media devices, I'm going to create an option element. So document.create element option. For this option element, the value is going to be the device.device ID. The inner text is going to be device.name. 
Then here I'm now going to check if the device dot kind. Remember that the kind can be audio input or it can be video input. So I can check here if the device dot kind is audio input. Then I'm going to append it to the audio devices select. So append child the option elements. And if the device dot kind is video input then I'm going to append it to the select elements for video devices. Now we come back here when I refresh, if there's no permission, permissions is asked. And now when I click on this select, oh, I have undefined. Sorry, that was wrong. Inner text device.name should, should be device.label. Okay, when I come here now, you can see my video device. This is my MacBook camera and this is the ZV-10. Therefore, the audio, I have a few of them. The MacBook one, the ZV-10 and a few other options here. Now that we have our devices, I want us to be able to start the camera. So when you click on the camera button, I'm going to get the video device that the user selected. So const video device ID. I'm going to get this on the video devices select dot options. This is an array of the options for that select element. And in these options, I'm going to get the video devices select dot selected index so that way i can get the element but i need the value of the element if you remember here we saved the value as the device id and that's what i need so here i'm going to do dot value and i'm going to repeat the same thing for the audio device so audio device id audio devices select and audio devices select selected index and then the value and when i get these devices that the user wants to use i'm going to have my try catch block where i'm going to attempt to show a display of that video i'm going to have my camera stream so i'm going to keep a global variable here called camera stream i'm keeping this global because i would need to use this in another function so let's have this as null so here i'm now going to have camera stream equals await navigator media devices dot get user media and then i pass some options here if you remember i did this here before now this that i did here is just to ask for permission i'm not ready to use the devices yet but now i want to actually use that media and this get user media is going to return a camera stream so here i can pass video but instead of just passing video of true i'm going to pass an option and in this option i can pass device id that i want to use this device id from the video and then i'm going to do the same thing for audio now there are other options you can pass you can even pass aspect ratio for how the video should be you can read up more on get user media if you want to see the different configurations you can pass in this case i want to specify the device id that I care about. Now, when I get this camera stream, I'm now going to pass it to this video element that I have here. And the video elements in HTML allows you to display the media content of a source. Now, this source could be a URL or it could also be a stream which is coming from a webcam. And I have this autoplay here so that the video can start playing. So let me remove this for now so you see how that works. So here, I'm now going to update that video element which I have up here. Maybe instead of video, I call it video LM. So it's less confusing. So yeah, I'm going to say video LM dot SRC object, the source object, and then I'm going to pass this camera stream here. But then I have this catch block in the case that the user did not grant permission for the camera or the audio. So here I'm going to check if E dot message dot includes permission, then I know it's an error that has to do with permission. So I can say console log permission denied. But if it's some other error, I don't know. I'm just going to do console log could not connect to media devices. I made a typo here. This should be device ID. Now, when I come here, refresh, select my video device or select the MacBook one, select the MacBook for the audio. When I click on start camera, now the source object of the video has been updated, but I can't see it yet. And that's because I don't have that autoplay attribute on the video. So it does not automatically start playing. It's only going to play if I have controls on the video. So let's try that again. Refresh. So I have these controls which are disabled. And when I select my camera, my audio, click on start camera now i have this here so let me change this transform from now you can see how it's inverted okay let's try that again select the video select the audio start camera now the video has that source object but until i click play then i can see myself but instead of allowing the user to click play differently then i can just put auto play here instead of controls so it starts playing the camera stream already so let's go back refresh select my video select my audio start camera 
and now I have this. Now what you notice is that it's inverted. If I move my head to my left, this is my left. If I move it here, it's going to the right. This is my right. If I move it here, it's going to the left. So that is why in the CSS here, I have this transform, which is going to mirror the view horizontally. So now if I come here and refresh again, select my camera, select my audio, click on start camera, and I move left and I move right and everything works fine. I can also select this camera I have over here. So select that as the video. You can also select it as the audio click on start camera and I have this guy over here Hi. so now that we're able to start our camera let's now move forward to actually recording the content of the camera as well as the audio so here I'm going to have my start button when you click on it then I'm going to have my media recorder but before that I'm going to have a global variable for media recorder I'll have it as null the media recorder interface of the media stream recording API according to MDN provides functionality to easily record media it is created using the media recorder constructor so here I can say media recorder is equals to new media recorder i'm going to pass the camera stream which it's going to record remember i updated the camera stream from this part here when the user clicked on the camera button then i'm going to pass a mime type for this mime type or specify video web m you can also specify video mp4 so now i have the media recorder and now i can do media recorder dot start and it's going to start recording. So if I come here now, I select this and I select this and I click on start camera. I have the camera stream. Now when I click on start recording, it's actually recording, but you don't see it recording. You don't, you don't know if it's recording or something. To visually display that it's recording, I can add something to this webcam element. So I have this webcam element here. And for my styles, I have a class that if the webcam is recording, we have some border and we have some after pseudo elements. So I can display that here after we click on media recorder.start. You can say webcam.classlists.add recording. So now if we refresh again, select all that we need to select, start camera and start recording. We have this red indicator that is recording. But now that is recording how can we stop recording well let's add something for the stop button stop button when you click on it media recorder dot stop and after it stops i'm going to remove the recording class we have this we have this start camera start recording stop recording okay now we have our start recording and stop recording logic but where is the content that is actually recorded well this is where we're going to listen to an event called data available so this media recorder receives an event we're going to listen to that event it's called data available and this event is triggered when there is data available from the content that is being recorded and we can actually see what that data looks like so this is the event and the data is going to be available on e dot data select the camera select audio start camera so it looks like start recording it's recording we're doing a bunch of stuff i'll click on stop recording data is available and we can see that data here which is a blob but one thing we have here is that we only get to see that data after we have stopped recording so if we record a video of like one hour we can only see that data until we stop and this can be risky because what if something happens to the internet or my laptop goes off then it means everything that we have recorded is lost so one useful thing you can do here is instead of waiting until you stop before you have the data available you can record the data in small sizes so here in media recorder.start we can pass 1000 which means data is going to be available after every one second or we can have 2000 data is going to be available after after every 2000 milliseconds which is two second then here i'm going to keep track of another variable called blobs recorded so now when this data is available well let me show you first that the data is available every two seconds so select camera start camera and start recording now you're going to see every two seconds we have a console log so this way we are not saving everything in just one blob but we have different blobs so now that we have the data here i can push the data to this blobs recorded so blobs recorded dot push and then i pass the data here 
And then when we stop recording, we can now access all the blobs recorded. Okay, let's take that again. Sorry, video audio, start camera, then start recording. I'm going to just talk for a few seconds, do blah, 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 blah. And then I stop recording. Then I have my array, which has four blobs here. Now, this is the recorded contents. Now, how can we preview the recorded contents? Well, this is where we can use object URLs. So I've made a few videos recently on object URLs. They allow us to create URLs with JavaScript for objects like files, blobs, or even some other media sources. So here, when we stop the recording, I'm now going to create an object URL, which is url.createObjectURL. And then I'm going to pass the object, the content of that URL, which is just going to be this array of blobs. So now if I do console log object URL, so it's what the URL looks like. Let's come back here again. I want to select this second camera because you are seeing my face a lot. Start camera, then start recording. We have our indicator and everything. I'm going to open the console. Then when we click on stop recording, oops. Oh, I see what's wrong. I just passed the blobs recorded as an array here instead of actually creating a blob from that array. So we have an array of blobs, but we cannot just pass that array of blobs and an object. We have to convert that array of blobs to one blob. So here I'm going to pass new blob. Then I can now pass the blobs recorded. So it's going to convert that array of blobs to one blob. Then I can specify the type of the blob by having the type here as video web m if we just had one blob we can pass that one blob here but because we have an array of blobs we have to convert everything to one blob format okay this should work now so select camera audio i don't even know the audio i selected start recording then when we stop recording we now have this blob here and i can open this blob in a new tab and this is what we recorded yeah but it seems we only recorded one second but now instead of displaying the blob in the console i am going to display it on this anchor tag i have here which i have queried here to be recorded preview come here recorded preview href equals to object url then recorded preview inner text equals to object url now let's go back start again select this camera select this audio start camera then i'm going to start recording uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, I don't know what to say while I'm recording, but I uh, like this video if you're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, and then we stop recording. Then we have this URL and I can click on this URL, which opens in a new tab. Yeah, it's already playing with the camera and the audio. So let me play it so you hear. Stop recording. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I don't know what to say while I'm recording, but I uh, like this video if you're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, that's about it you can find the link to the code in this demo in the video description i have a new github repository now where i am saving the code i use for my demos so you can check that out you can improve this in a lot of ways for example if the user is already recording you can disable the start button or disable the stop button but uh yeah like i said there are many ways you can improve this to serve your purpose but uh yeah this is how we record content with the media recorder, selecting the audio, the video, giving permissions, and uh, all those bunch of things. An additional step is you can now upload this blob to your hosting provider or do whatever you want with it. But I hope this video shows you some things in JavaScript blobs, object URLs, how to get camera and audio devices, how to query permissions, how to use the media recorder API, how to pass camera streams to the video element. We've covered a few concepts in JavaScript and I hope that these were all helpful. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe so you see more videos like this and also please like. It really supports the channel and supports the efforts i put into these videos well see you in my next video check out the links in the video description for more related content like this